Hello weather fans! Whether you're a snow lover or someone who prefers to stay cozy indoors, you're in the right place. Al Roker here, ready to dive into the wonders and wildcards of a European winter. There's so much more to this season than meets the eye, and I can't wait to explore it with you. Picture a quiet village in the Alps, snow-laden rooftops, kids building snowmen, and the air so crisp your breath turns to mist. The world seems to slow down, wrapped in a blanket of white, as laughter echoes through the frosty air. But winter in Europe is more than just postcard scenes, it's a season that shapes how we travel, what we wear, and even our energy bills. From bustling cities to remote mountain towns, everyone feels the impact in their own way. As the days shorten and the cold sets in, everyone's asking, what kind of winter is coming? Will we see record-breaking snow, or will it be a milder season that keeps the shovels in the garage? Will it be a snowmageddon with blizzards and icy roads, or a mild rainy season that feels more like autumn? The uncertainty keeps everyone guessing, from school kids hoping for snow days to commuters planning their routes. The answer lies in a complex dance of global weather patterns, from the Pacific Ocean to the Arctic. Jet streams, ocean currents, and shifting air masses all play a part in shaping what we experience on the ground. We're about to break down the major players, the latest forecasts, and what it all means for you. Our team of meteorologists has been tracking every development, so you'll be prepared for whatever comes your way. So grab a warm drink, maybe a mug of hot chocolate or your favorite tea, and let's embark on a weather journey across Europe together. There's nothing like watching the snow fall with a cozy cup in hand. From Spain's sunny coasts, where winter means gentle breezes and bright skies, to Scandinavia's snowy forests, where the landscape transforms into a winter wonderland, we'll cover what to expect in your corner. No matter where you are, winter has a story to tell. Winter is coming, let's see what's in store. Get ready for surprises, challenges, and maybe even a little magic along the way. To decode Europe's winter, meet our three main weather influencers, La Nina, the Polar Vortex, and the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. These powerful forces shape the climate and weather patterns, determining whether Europe will face a harsh winter or a milder season. La Nina starts in the Pacific, with cooler waters shifting global wind patterns and nudging the jet stream, which can steer storms and cold air toward Europe. This cooling effect can have a ripple effect, influencing weather far beyond the Pacific, reaching as far as Europe. The polar vortex is a swirling mass of frigid air over the North Pole. When it weakens, icy blasts can escape south, bringing deep freezes to Europe. This can lead to sudden cold snaps and severe winter storms impacting daily life and infrastructure. The NAO is all about pressure differences between Iceland and the Azores. A positive NAO means strong westerly winds and mild wet winters. A negative NAO weakens those winds, letting cold Arctic air sweep into Europe. This oscillation can dramatically alter the weather, making it unpredictable. These three forces interact like teammates in a high-stakes match, each move affecting the outcome. Their interplay can lead to a variety of weather scenarios, from heavy snowfall to unexpected thaws. Will they combine for a cold, snowy winter or will one dominate and keep things mild? The balance of power among these forces is crucial in determining the winter's character. Top computer models like ECMWF and GFS crunch the numbers to predict how these giants will behave. These models use vast amounts of data to simulate potential outcomes, providing insights into future weather patterns. Understanding their interplay is key to unlocking the winter forecast. Meteorologists analyze these interactions to provide accurate predictions, helping communities prepare for what lies ahead. It's a complex dance, but these are the stars of the show. Each has its role, and together they create the symphony of winter weather. Let's see how their moves could shape the months ahead. The coming winter could be a testament to their power and influence. Ready to see who takes the lead? Let's break it down. The stage is set for an intriguing winter, with each force vying for dominance. La Nina is the headline act for Europe's winter 2025-26. While its direct impact here is subtle, it often sets the stage for high-pressure blocking near Greenland, a traffic jam in the atmosphere. This blocking can force the jet stream south, opening the door for Arctic and Siberian air to sweep into Europe. The result? Colder, snowier conditions, especially in northern and western Europe. La Nina winters often start mild, with the real cold and snow arriving in January and February. 
It's a classic pattern, a gentle December, then a wintry punch as the season deepens. Not every La Nina brings a snowstorm, but it does tilt the odds toward a colder finish. Timing matters. Expect the atmosphere to shift gears after the holidays. So, as we look ahead, La Nina is a big clue. Winter could change its personality halfway through. Stay alert for a season that starts slow, but ends with a bang. What do the top weather models say? Europe's winter looks split in two. December starts mild and wet, but by January and February, a colder, snowier pattern is likely. La Nina encourages high-pressure blocking near Greenland, setting up the classic cold outbreak scenario. Early winter may see a positive NAO keeping things gentle, but a flip to negative NAO in January could unleash Arctic air. Expect a dramatic shift, mild at first, then a true winter punch. Energy demands and snow potential will spike after the new year. The message, don't get too comfortable, big changes are coming. December 2025 is shaping up to be mild for most of Europe. The jet stream will pull in moist Atlantic air, keeping temperatures near or above average. Expect more rain than snow in cities like London, Paris, and Berlin. Think gray, damp days, not white Christmases. Major snowstorms are unlikely in early December for most lowland areas. In the mountains though, it's a different story. The Alps and Scandinavia will still see snow, especially at higher elevations. Ski resorts may have a slow start, but steady moisture should help build a base. Lower altitude resorts might rely on snowmaking to prep for the holidays. December will feel more like late autumn, a window to finish winter prep before the real cold arrives. Enjoy the calm before the storm, but keep an eye on the forecast. A big change is waiting as the new year approaches. January 2026 is when winter's true character emerges. La Nina and a weakening polar vortex could set up a high-pressure block near Greenland, rerouting weather patterns. Mild Atlantic winds will be cut off, replaced by Arctic air plunging south. Expect a persistent chill, temperatures dropping below average across northern, western and central Europe. Snow chances rise dramatically, even for lower elevations and coastal areas. The UK and Ireland could see beast from the east events, while Germany and Poland brace for repeated cold blasts. France may see snow in Paris more often. Heating demand will surge and daily life will feel much more wintry. For ski resorts, January could bring the best conditions of the season with heavy snowfall and deep powder. This is when Europe transforms into a true winter wonderland. February 2026 is set to be the coldest, snowiest month for much of Europe. The blocking pattern strengthens, keeping Arctic air locked in. Snow that falls is likely to stick around, leading to significant accumulations, especially in northern and eastern Europe. Scandinavia, Germany and the Alps could see prolonged deep freezes and persistent snow cover. Travel disruptions and high energy demand are likely as the cold lingers. Southern Europe won't escape. Expect more rain and mountain snow with the Pyrenees and Apennines seeing excellent ski conditions. The contrast with December's mild start will be dramatic. February is the month for winter sports, snowy walks and bracing for challenges. Don't pack away your winter gear early. The coldest days may be saved for last. This is winter's grand finale. Let's tour Europe's winter outlook, UK and Ireland. Mild and wet December, but a sharp turn to cold and snow in January and February. Watch for potential beast from the east disruptions. Germany, Poland, Central Europe, near average December, then a severe cold snap. Expect classic continental winter, frozen rivers, persistent snow, and high heating demand. Scandinavia, exceptionally cold and dry, with bone-chilling temperatures and a long ski season. Spain, Italy, Mediterranean, shielded from the worst cold but expect a wetter, stormier winter. Good news for water supplies and mountain snow. The Alps, Pyrenees, and Apennines fantastic snowfall likely in January and February, great for skiing. Coastal areas stay milder but should prepare for more frequent storms. Each region faces unique challenges but all should be ready for a winter of contrasts. Whether you're bracing for snow or rain, preparation is key. Let's see how your region stacks up. Before we wrap up, let's dive into a few fun facts about Europe's winter history. Did you know the brutal winter of 1947, one of the coldest on record, was actually a La Nina year? That season, snow blanketed cities and rural areas alike, causing widespread disruption and unforgettable scenes across the continent. Fast forward to 2013-14, 
when the term polar vortex suddenly went viral, making headlines and sparking conversations everywhere. People bundled up as temperatures plunged, and the phrase became a household term almost overnight. But the truth is, these dramatic weather patterns, La Nina, polar vortex, and others, have been shaping Europe's winters for centuries, long before they had catchy names or trended online. It's important to remember that long-range forecasts are about spotting trends, not making promises. The atmosphere is a complex, ever-changing system, and even the best predictions can be upended by sudden shifts. For example, a sudden polar vortex disruption, or a stubborn North Atlantic Oscillation NAO, can flip the script, bringing unexpected cold or warmth. So, use these forecasts as a helpful guide, not a guarantee. Always check your local weather updates as winter approaches, and stay flexible in your plans. To sum up, you can expect a milder, wetter December, with rain and damp conditions more common than snow in many areas. But don't get too comfortable, January and February are likely to bring a dramatic shift, with colder air and heavier snowfall sweeping across much of Europe. This means more frequent snow events, higher energy use to keep warm, and the need for communities to be ready for winter's challenges. On the bright side, ski resorts could see fantastic conditions, perfect for winter sports lovers, but it also means travel disruptions and extra caution for daily routines. Be prepared, not scared, use the early part of winter to get ready. Check your car, stock up on essentials and make sure you have emergency supplies just in case. And of course dig out your warmest coat, hats and gloves so you're ready for whatever the season brings. Whether you're hoping for snowy adventures outdoors or cozy days by the fire, this winter promises plenty of excitement and memorable moments. Stay safe, take time to enjoy the beauty of the season, and appreciate the unique charm that winter brings to Europe. And remember, keep an eye on the latest weather updates to stay informed and ready for any surprises. That's the forecast for now. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.